Light, sea, the environment and the architecture are used to generate meeting places. These elements, combined with the way in which Renzo Piano has listened to the inhabitants of Santander and got to know them, have materialized in a project that will change the city forever. The elected site is the Albareda Pier, between the Stone Crane and the Maritime Station, next to the Pareda Gardens. It is a highly emblematic area, but a restricted one too. The park is going to be very, very, very big and completely open. And because the traffic goes down, is we gain a lot of surface that will be no more street, road, it will become park, but also we have no noise, no pollution, and of course we don't have the psychological sense of insecurity that comes from traffic. The space around the building will be for public use and aims to encourage community interaction. An open-air amphitheater with seating for 2,000 people will act as an ideal location for screenings and concerts. Furthermore, the public will be able to see what is going on inside the indoor auditorium, located in the west building from the street outside. Next to it is a central square where the city's main paths converge. As you remember, I always said, they are like a ship on dry deck. You know, they are flying. And they have to fly, because we don't want to take from the city the public space to walk. So they have to fly. The building's 6,000 meters will be distributed in two volumes, with an inner square and a suspended walkway over the sea. The east part of the building will be devoted to art. It will possess 2,500 meters of galleries, which will host both the Bottin Foundation's art collection and temporary exhibitions. The West Wing will be devoted to education and will house an indoor auditorium with 300 seats, as well as multi-purpose spaces designed to cater for courses and lectures. When you are underneath the building, the building goes up, so the light comes. And especially when you look at the water, because the building is still overhanging in the water, of course the light from sun will touch the water and come back to the surface. And this is what makes building magic in some way, you know, because it flies but also has a vibrancy. A similar effect will be sought by the building's skin, a vibrant layer created by small, light-colored ceramic pieces whose purpose is to take advantage of the sunlight from above and to reflect the light from the water beneath. And this is something essential that we should keep, this line, this line, that is the sense of infinite, the sense of the bay. The building will be open to the sea and the city, a nexus between both worlds and an example to follow in the transformation of Santander's seafront. Estamos encantados de hacerlo en Cantabria porque estamos convencidos de que es la mejor forma de crear riqueza y desarrollo y de atraer visitantes de todo el mundo. Precisamente estos eran los objetivos de nuestros fundadores hace 50 años. The Botine Center of Santander will be finished in June 2014.